Well, hello, hello again, students. It's Mr. Fisher reporting to you from my classroom here at Point Pleasant Borough High School. In my first video, I talked a little bit about why we invest, and basically it's right here on my screen. When we have some money that we've worked for and we have some time, we can use investing to create more value or more money um, by buying stocks and other assets. If you want to check out that other video, it's on my YouTube um, and you can find that as long as you are a Point Pleasant Borough High School student. From my last lesson, you can see that um, Amazon, about five years ago, was $500 a share. And then yesterday, I could have sold that share of Amazon ownership for over $3,000. So that's a good example. When it comes to what we're doing today, it's how do you read a stock quote? So the quote has all kinds of financial information to help us as investors predict the future value of the stock. We're not always going to be right, but the stock quote helps us see where has the stock been and maybe help us predict where it's going to go. So I'm going to show you some stock quotes today. And just a reminder, you want to buy at a low price that you think is low, and hopefully it'll go up in the future. The longer you invest, the more likely the price will go up, but there's still no guarantee. It's always a risk that it could go down in value and you could lose money. All right, it sounds easy. It's really hard to do in real life. Let's take a look at a stock quote. So this is a quote for Tesla and I took this screenshot about a year ago and at that time it was early in the day. Tesla was $385 per share of ownership and the market hadn't actually opened. So you'll see that over here uh, hadn't changed yet today. The price hadn't changed. But in pre-market, overnight, people had been placing orders to buy and sell. And in 9.30 in the morning when this opened, you can see it was only 8.38 when I took this picture, um, Tesla was going to open $4 down, which represents about 1% loss. But probably during the day, it went up and down, up and down, up and down. And since I took this picture, Tesla has gone up in value a lot. Now, the rest of the quote. At the top, I can see the name of the company that is on the NASDAQ stock exchange. And in the United States, primarily you're gonna see the NASDAQ and the New York stock exchange. That's where we buy and sell these shares. And the symbol for Tesla is TSLA. Now, the 52 week is telling me in the last year, because there's 52 weeks in a year, going from today, back a year, not January 1st to January 1st, but from today, going back a whole year, how has the price been? It's been as low as 178 and as high as $389. So you can see the price today is pretty close to as high as it's been in a year. Earnings per share. I love to look at earnings per share. Last year, Tesla hadn't made money. In fact, when I took this picture a year ago, Tesla was losing money. Earnings per share is a division that they do. They take the profits of the company and they divide that by the number of shares of stock that are out in the world. In this case, it's negative. That means that every time Tesla is producing a car, selling cars, they were losing money. If we looked at this today, though, we'd see that Tesla is now profitable, but it's pennies. They're making very, very small amount of money in the earnings per share, which is just a way for us to look at how many shares are out there and how much money is the company earning doing whatever it is that they do. You obviously want companies to make money, so a positive earnings per share and a large amount of money is probably a good sign. There's a lot of other things here. Market cap. This helps us see, well, how big is this company? What's the total value of all the stock? If I wanted to go out and um, buy every share of Tesla, I would need $64 billion to do that. And that was a year ago. It's worth even more now because the share price has gone up. What else is in here? Um, not a lot else for a basics tutorial. Dividend and yield. I think in a minute you'll see that some companies pay a dividend. What that means is a big company that's been around forever, when they have a profit, every shareholder gets a share of those profits. Not every company does it. Google, Amazon, Tesla. These companies are still growing and reinvesting all the money that they earn. But a big company that's been around for a long time, they're not really growing. So as a shareholder, I'm entitled to my share of the profits. And I'll show you that um, in a coming up slide here. Perfect. Ford Motor Company. 
Ford is listed on the New York Stock Exchange and their symbol is F. That's because they were the first company back in, the, I believe, the 1800s to be listed on the New York Stock Exchange in the Fs. So Ford became the F symbol. You can see it's a lot less expensive, um, $11 per share. And on this particular day, it was going to open, actually, I think it, yeah, it was going to open a little bit down. Now, um, the 52-week range, it hasn't moved as much, whereas Tesla was really a big amount. It went from like 100 and some to 300 and some. Ford is a very stable stock price. It's not going to jump up and down a lot. So in the last 52 weeks, it's been as low as $10 and as high as $13. We'd have to go look to see where it's at now. This picture is a year old. This is what I like to see, though, a positive earnings per share. So for all the shares out there, um, we're talking about, looks like almost 4 billion shares, each worth $11. Um, Ford earned almost a dollar per share in profit. So Ford is profitable. Also, they're not keeping all that money. They're giving it back to the stockholders. So if you own this share for $11.63, you would have earned in the last year an additional $5 in dividends. Because as a shareholder, you're an owner of the company and you're entitled to those profits. If the company wants to give you back the profits, they can. If they want to keep them to keep expanding the business, they can do that. But Ford is really as big as it needs to be. They don't need more factories. Um, so they can give those profits back to the shareholders. There's a lot more here. The market cap, again, is if I wanted to buy all of the shares, how much would they be worth? And a year ago, it would have been $46 billion. There's more here, but this is just the basics. Let's do one more. So General Motors, another huge American car company. It's listed on the New York Stock Exchange as GM, and that's what we call it, GM. A little bit more expensive, $38 per share. And the earnings per share is much higher. This is a very large earnings per share. So there's 1.46 billion shares out there of General Motors. So we can see really quickly, they were earning last year over um, $6 billion in earnings. Um, so for every share that's out there, $1.46 billion worth of shares, um, they earned about $6.31 per share. It just lets us see that this company makes money. Another giant company that's not really trying to um, reinvent itself. It's not opening new factories. They're basically selling as many cars as they can every year. They're not growing. So what do they do with all the profits? They give them back to the shareholders in the form of a dividend. So this, a younger company that's growing fast it might have a high price over here, but you'll see sometimes that they don't have earnings or that they don't give a dividend. So those are things to look at. And also the 52 week range, excuse me, 52 week high and low, that tells me how much has this stock, the lowest price it's been and the highest price it's been in the last year from today. That's a lot of information. I hope it's helpful. I'm just gonna wrap it up now. Quick reminders, stocks are only worth what someone else is willing to pay to own it. It's supply and demand. Every minute of every day during trading, the prices are going up and down, depending on how many people are buying and how many people are selling. Now, why do people buy Tesla? It's so expensive and they don't have any um, or very little earnings per share. It's because people believe that in the future, Tesla is going to make money. People are betting that this stock is going, this company is going to be profitable and very important in the future. So they're willing to pay a high price for it. Whereas Ford is a very old American company. Um, it's the largest U.S. car company. And the future is uncertain for a giant old company like that. And so investors aren't really willing to pay hundreds of dollars per share to own it. Um, but they feel good spending maybe $10 or $20 per share to own it. And just a reminder, companies that are large and established, they're not reinvesting their profits. So they give the profits back to you, the shareholder. And that's called a dividend. And that's a nice thing when you're investing, to have cash just come in purely because you're a partial owner of the company. Okay, that's a lot, and I hope it was helpful for today. As always, I'm Mr. Fisher, signing off. Have a great day.